James Roberts and this is my video response slash interview to the questionnaire you sent me to complete. Okay, so I thought I'd just say the questions and say my answers to them. Okay, question one. Can you name four roles of sports coaches? Okay, the four that I've chosen to talk about are friend, manager, trainer and role model. And now you want to know what these roles are? Okay, a friend, that is someone who is always there for you and someone that helps push you through tournaments, training, always tries to keep you motivated and to carry on. That's the role of a friend manager. They're just sort of there to talk to you, help you through problems, that sort of thing. The manager, this is someone who puts you in matches, tournaments and tell you where to be at what time. This is like just picking what's best for the team, your best players, deciding where to put them, not based on friendship or loyalty, but on who will help the team win. Okay, trainer. That is someone who makes you good enough to get where you want to be and helps improve you and push you. They also set goals for you to hit, so like getting a personal trainer to help you when you're training to be a professional cyclist. Okay, and the last one was role model. This is someone you look up to, gives you good aspirations, is really inspiring, behaves well when you want to be like, that sort of thing. Okay, in what sort of situation would a coach take on one of these roles? Like, a manager would take on the role if the team is all good, but he had to choose between a really good new player and some player that's not as good but he's had for ages, that's when he'd choose. Yeah, that sort of reason. Okay, an example of each from team sports. Okay, a friend in team sports would be... Well, that's sort of loads of them, but I'm going for Sir Alex Busby because he stayed loyal to his team, he really cared about them, and he chose and listened to them by his actual feelings. Manager would be Martin O'Neill from Aston Villa. He's a manager, he literally just chooses who's best for the team, not based on anything else or loyalty from like club and country. I put Tom Daly as a trainer because he just literally trains them when they've got the basic knowledge already, does it on TV, advances their knowledge to perform. And role model, I've put David Beckham because he coaches little kids, he's inspiring them, he's done it all before, but he's not a like, train manager, he just coaches kids because he wants to, not because he needs the money or anything. Okay, for individual sports, for a friend I chose Mike Edward, because he coaches squash to advanced players, he's really a friend to them, listens to them and shares opinions with them. Um, for manager I've chose Charles Van Comeen, who was in the Olympics 2012, he coached all the athletics people. For trainer I chose Ken Baker because he enhances people's skills at table tennis. And for role model, I also chose Charles Van Kameen again because he really did a good job. He made people look up to him. He won those medals. He did a great job. Okay, and the final question on this section is when would you have to change the role you would take on? Okay, like under special considerations, e.g. blind. Like if you've got blind players, you need to be more of a friend educator because they need the extra help. Same with the sort of kids and that sort of thing. Okay, thanks.